pain gate theory? Well, the pain gate theory is a theory that stated that the spinal cord contained a neurological gate which opened and closed to either allow or block the pain signal to travel to the brain. It was developed in the early 1960s by Ronald Melzack and Patrick Wall. Without pain stimulation, the large nerve fiber become active. It then activates both the protection neuron and the inhibitory interneuron. The inhibitory neuron then block the protection neuron, which was connected to the brain, and prevent it from sending signal to the brain. Therefore, the gate is closed and there is no pain. Smart nerve fiber become active with pain stimulations. First, smart nerve fiber will activate the projection neuron which was connecting to the brain. Well, because the projection neuron was activated first, it then blocked the inhibitory neuron which cannot prevent the projection neuron from sending signal to the brain. Therefore, the gates open which means pain. you're at a concert and this is you in the front of the line then people begin to come in and fill up the empty space soon the room was full of people and there's no other ways to get out and you want to go get something and there's no way for you to get out so this is similarly to the pain gate theory Let's say that you fall on the ground and then you hurt your knees. Then you, and when you rub it, you feel better. Why? Here's why. First, the damaged area will send a signal to your brain. And by rubbing it, a tentational touch will activate inhibitory neuron, which then block the projection neuron from sending signal to your brain. Because the projection neuron is blocked, no signal was sent to the brand, which means there is no pain. <laughs>